Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Calamity Let's Play episode. We are playing as Silas the Summoner on Death Mode. And last episode, we had a big one. We defeated the Ravager, the Lunatic Cultist, as well as Duke Fishrun. This episode, I'm hoping to defeat Astrum Dias and then get ready for the Moon Lord. There's lots of good stuff coming up. So let's immediately run over to our Astral Biome and we can try spawning Astrum Dias. Oh, we do have this pillar right here, and we'll probably be fighting along this area. So let's go ahead and just defeat this pillar first. Hopefully we can spawn Astrum Dias during the pillar events. Otherwise, we might have to just defeat all these and give the uh, Moon Lord a try without defeating Astrum Dias. But like I said, hopefully we'll just be able to spawn them. We were able to spawn Duke Fishron all right, so I think the only thing that I know we can't do when the lunar events are happening is the Martian Madness. Because I remember I tried that in one of my series and I was pretty sad to see that you can't start up Martian Madness if this is happening. <laughs> we got a perforator. Sweet. It's the ultimate lag machine. Going through all the phases of the perforator. Oh, sweet. We've got the uh, pillar shield down. That was fast. Okay, there we go. And on we go. So we can put our spawn point right here just in case. And what is this? Is this a pet item? Yeah, I think that's a pet. Okay, we also have the solar pillar near us. So I'm just going to go ahead and defeat the solar pillar as well. We'll need to get it done anyways, so might as well do it sooner. Man, this reminds me of... Which series was it? I think, was it the Tanya series? Where it was reflecting damage on me and it was like the solar pillar was super, super difficult. I think it was Tanya, because I think we were using a gun. Well, thankfully, these are not seeming to reflect my summons. So this will go pretty easy. Like most of them can't even get through our barrier of all these Stardust summons. In fact, to speed this up, I'm even going to put a Zerg on. I might regret that, but we'll see. It'll, it'll either go super fast and we'll get past this, or we'll regret it. Well, hopefully we can speed this up and not die. Oh my gosh, we might die. I'm going to shoot some of these down. Oh no, oh no. That was like the first one of those that spawned. I think we're gonna die. No! Survive long enough. There we go. Oh no, we're not doing any damage to the pillar. There's too many enemies. <laughs> okay. Well, at least the pillar's shields are down. Oh man. It's that worm thing. Uh oh. No! Stop spawning, mobs. I defeated the pillar. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, so I just switched it to night, and it's time to do this. I'm just hoping we don't get crazy lag. This boss can be a real lag fest, but I think that was mainly back in the day when the boss was, uh, like, split into so many different worms. They switched it so that it does just two worms now. So hopefully that's less laggy. Let's see, maybe we need to get a different summon going. Let's try these plague summons. Oh no. I'm just determined. We must do better than we at least did last time. Because last time, I don't even remember what summon we used. Oh my gosh, we're doing worse than we did when we summoned this by accident in the middle of hard mode. Okay, it seems like we're doing a little bit better damage now.
Okay, we got adrenaline this time. There we go. You know, another thing I just realized we should try is this weapon right here. This I could see being really good since these can home in pretty well. Whoa, that was close to being a head hit. Okay, we're almost down to 50%. The main thing I'm watching right now is how much of the night we've used up. Getting so many projectiles on the map, you can start seeing the lag. got the two split. We just gotta control them. Make sure we don't get them too s separated. I don't really know what's the trick with this. I think only one of them can take damage at a time, but I'm not sure. I'm just gonna keep trying to debuff as many times as I can. Don't know if this is probably way overkill, but I have to go under that one. Seems like we got the damage going. So we should be fine. Almost got another rage. We just gotta be really careful with not going too fast through this guy because we'll run into these things. Or we'll just get hit by the head. <laughs> no! Okay. This is not good. We gotta get out of here. We're getting way too much stacked on us. Okay, we're going to be stuck in between lasers. And I really don't want to have to do this boss fight again. This boss fight takes so long and it's so laggy. Maybe I can somehow manage to pull this off, but I don't think so. We just gotta keep keep going. If I had a rod of discord, honestly, that would probably make the difference here. We are regenerating health pretty fast. And we've got the heal. Heal, 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 heal. There we go. Go ahead and dash through them. This is a bad spot. Out of our arena here. Somehow we managed to get through it though. Let's jump straight up. Ah, darn it, darn it, darn it. I didn't mean to dash there. Dashed right into those attacks or those little orbs. Okay. We're we're still in this. We can mess up, but as long as we come back and stay focused, we got it. That was so close. Another close one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting like fatigued here. <laughs> I'm having a hard time staying focused. Okay, we're down to 50%. That was pretty good. We got a lot of damage there. We almost got rage. And healing in like one second. Go throw the rage on. Get the heal. No, we dodged too soon. I think we gotta circle back to the right. And let's go to the left, I guess. Okay, we're 
Where's the other one? The other one's been a while since it's come back to us. There we go. Let's get the damage. Let's get these summoned all over the arena. Hope they land their hits. Okay, we gotta dodge these. I don't think any of the heads can circle around in time. I managed to dodge them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is insane. They're going way crazy right now. We gotta get some vertical speed and get out of there. No, we got hit by the head, I think. Nope, another head hit. Darn it. Darn it, we can't lose this now. It's gonna take me another half hour to beat this boss. percent everybody that's probably the most heartbreaking boss fight i've had in this playthrough just for the sheer amount of time it takes and the amount of focus i'm gonna try using the stardust dragon this time i don't know if it's really gonna do much we'll see we can always switch back to our other summons after a whole night of dodging i decided to mess up all at once Okay, so I don't know if I'm just in the spawning phase, but we're not doing a lot of damage. Actually, we just did a ton of damage there. 10,000. That was a good adrenaline. Yeah, maybe this will be better. Maybe we won't have to fight all night, all night long. Man, we're really closed in here. Come on. Here we go. Gotta get out. And let's try our debuffs, I guess. I don't know how much this really does, but it makes me feel like I'm being more engaged with the fight. Whoa, that was close. I kind of just dodged intuitively there. I was just feeling like I was standing too still. Okay. Go with some adrenaline. I think this actually might be a better um, summon for this boss fight. I think we're going to be good. Seems like we're doing a lot more damage. There we go. Whoa, we got through those. That was almost accidental. This is making me get flashbacks to the Devourer of Gods dodging the head hits. I am not looking forward to that. I wonder if that's still a thing where head hits do instant death. There we go, adrenaline. Okay, this is going much faster, thank goodness. I was not looking forward to a 20 minute boss fight. I like that there's a lot less lag on this fight, too. Oh no, 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 two hits in a row. Can't do that, can't do that. We have less reaction time, but the, the flow of the battle is better. Because when it gets too laggy, like right there, I mean, it was kind of like mainly that sort of speed for most of the last fight. And I think that's just a little too much. It's hard to keep the rhythm and stay engaged and focused for the whole fight. Okay, I got my adrenaline off right before I took the hit, I think. Okay, 19 seconds until a heal. I think we can do this. 
No, 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 Rito. Get it, get it right. Do not mess this up. Do not mess this up. I will, I will be very, very sad <laughs> if I mess this up. Oh my gosh, I'm messing it up. Okay, at least we got a heal off. Oh no, we're standing still. Okay, this time I put the spike thing, so hopefully that will do some extra damage, speed this up a little bit. If I kind of keep the boss in this area, which I tend to kind of stay in this area. It is interesting, with a lot of bosses, you kind of optimize your damage, and eventually after fighting them multiple times, you're beating them way quicker than the first time. Finding the most effective uses of different weapons that you have in your arsenal. Okay, we gotta we gotta get moving. Three percent again. Oh my gosh, thirty thousand damage there. That was perfect. Oh, and I just get <laughs> absolutely smacked right afterwards. a good call you see it's like things like that you gotta you gotta be really focused on this boss fight so you don't get clobbered by some of these um, precarious situations they can put you in oh no every hit causes me actual physical pain I like feel the hits from my character <laughs> So we got a heal. Should have healed sooner, probably. Okay, this is a good one. They're both going right through our spike sentry. No, that thing really homed in on me. They usually don't comb that aggressively, not until the end at least. Wow, these are some close, close hits. Okay, we gotta get out of here. seconds until I heal. I may not even heal. Hopefully we can manage. Oh, we beat him. Oh my gosh. I didn't even look at the health. We beat him. <laughs> okay. Well, we have the astral bulwark. Taking damage drops astral stars from the sky, provides immunity to the astral infection debuff. I am not refighting that boss. <laughs> Once was enough. Okay. There we go. We got the summon. I, I need to stop buying so many at the same time. It is the Godspawn Helix Staff. Summons astral probes to protect you. Because we spent so long on Astrum Diaz, I think I'm going to go ahead and fight the Moon Lord next episode. I think we're pretty much as prepared as we can be. The only thing I need to do is connect some of my arenas here. Like maybe this one, just bring it all the way across. And that way we've got a long stretch because we'll need, I mean, probably this long of a stretch will be good enough. We can jump back and forth, fight the Moon Lord, 
and get into the post moon lord calamity content which i know is most people's favorite it's my favorite it's so fun very challenging um i'm getting a little scared i really hope there's some good summons so we can defeat providence without too much of an issue well death mode has been a challenge but it's also a ton of fun and super satisfying once when you get through a boss that's been giving you a rough time so next episode like i said we're going to be fighting the moon lord so you don't want to miss it if you haven't subscribed already be sure to do so and drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed this content thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time